Take a look at this woman. How would you describe her hair? How would you describe it? I would describe it like this. It's brown and it's wavy. Uh, it's shoulder length. Okay, these are your shoulders. So if your hair comes down to about here, then you have shoulder length hair. Okay, and it looks a little bit disheveled to me. Does it look disheveled to you? Disheveled means a bit messy. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit messy. Sometimes that's good, it's sometimes that's bad. Okay, if you want it to look messy, sometimes that's a hairstyle, right, that people have. They have the messy look. But if you just woke up in the morning and you forget to comb your hair, that's probably a bad thing. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you all about hairstyles. Okay, so this girl has straight hair. Okay, and she also has bangs. So the hair that covers your forehead, okay, this is called your forehead. The hair that comes down here and covers your forehead is called your bangs. Bangs. Okay, this girl has curly hair. Now, if you don't have curly hair, but you want to have curly hair permanently, okay, then you can get uh, what's called a perm. A perm. You can go to the hair salon and say, I want curly hair. And then they're going to put chemicals in your hair and curl it. And it's going to stay curly for a long time. I'm not sure, maybe a month? A week? I'm not sure, I've never had a perm. If you're a girl, let me know down there in the comments. How long does a perm last? I don't know. Okay, this is called wavy hair. Waves in her hair. It's not curly. Curly means like this. Waves is just like this. Okay, so that's called wavy hair. Okay, this girl has spiky hair. Short, spiky hair. Those are called spikes. Okay, uh, like... Do you know the fruit called durian? Have you ever heard of a fruit called durian? It smells terrible. Okay, it's a very popular fruit in, uh, in Southeast Asia, like Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia. It's a big fruit, it's about this big, and it has spikes, okay? I tried it once, it was disgusting. It was so bad. Okay, so we call this spiky hair. Uh, now, this girl has a ponytail, a ponytail. A pony is a small horse, okay? So this kind of hair looks like a pony's tail, okay? That's why it's called a ponytail. Now this girl has two ponytails, and this kind of hair is called braided hair, okay? So she has two braids, two braids. Okay, now this guy has dreadlocks. Those things are called dreadlocks, or we just call them dreads for short. Okay, this guy has a mohawk, a mohawk. Okay, now if a mohawk is a little bit thicker and if there's hair on the sides of the head like this, then it's called a fauxhawk, a fauxhawk. Okay, it's longer in the middle, but there's still some hair on the sides. Okay, now this is called a mullet. A mullet. Okay, the, the hair is short on the top and it's really long in the back. Mullets were really popular back in, I think, the 80s. Okay, like 30 years ago. Um, I think they just look terrible. I don't know. What do you think? Should I get a mullet? Maybe I'll get more subscribers at Mad English TV if I get a mullet. Who knows? Okay, this is called a man bun. A man bun, okay? When he has long hair but ties it up in a bun. Now, if a, a woman has a bun, then it's just called a bun. So that's why this is called a man bun, because a man has it. Okay, this is called a fade. Look, see, here, there's, here it's completely shaved, right? And then it gets longer, 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 longer. It's fading, it's fading up, okay, or it's fading out. Okay, that's called a fade. Now, this kind of hair is called slicked back, slicked back. So for this kind of hairstyle, 
you just take some gel and you just slick your hair right back. Okay, now this, <laughs> that looks a bit funny. Okay, this is called parted hair. Parted. Okay, so he could say, I part my hair in the middle. Okay, this thing is called a part. Okay, so here's my part here. I part my hair on the left side and I comb it over. Okay, that's a part. Now, a hard part is, is like a permanent part. Okay, that's where um, the barber takes the clippers and shaves a line into the hair. Okay, it's called a, a hard part. I've had some hard parts before in my hair. Okay, now this is called a crew cut. A crew cut. Now, most people in the military have crew cuts. Okay, it means it's short on top and it's almost completely shaved on the sides. Okay, now if it's shaved all the way, everywhere, then it's called a shaved head. A shaved head. I've also shaved my head twice in my life. I've had a shaved head, can you believe it? And a big beard. Okay, now this guy is bald. He's bald. What's the difference between bald and a shaved head? Well, bald means you lost your hair naturally. A shaved head means you, you shaved it yourself, okay? Um, now, this is called a comb over. A comb over. Some men have a bald spot on the top of their head, but they still have hair on the sides. So they grow this really long and they comb it over to hide the bald spot on their head. Okay, now there's a lot of different things you can do with your hair. Uh, for example, you can dye it which means you color it. Okay, so this girl here, she has pink or red dyed hair. Okay, now you can also have streaks in your hair. That means only a little bit is dyed. Okay, so look, she has black hair, but she has some red streaks. Okay, now this woman has highlights. Highlights are like streaks, but they're more natural, okay? Look, her hair is blonde, and her highlights are also blonde, but the highlights are streaks that are just a little bit lighter. Okay, she wants to add some, some slightly different color to her hair. That's called highlights. Okay, uh, now this is called layers. I'm not sure if you can see it in this picture, but uh, her hair is like in layers. This is the the top of her hair is shorter and then it, it gets longer 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 okay so that's called layers uh, okay now there's different ways you can talk about your hair okay for example you can say I'm wearing my hair up today that means you have your hair pinned up or you can say I'm wearing my hair down today this girl is wearing her hair down Okay, so there's a lot of different vocabulary to talk about a person's hair. But I want to know about you. I want you to describe your hair to me. What kind of hairstyle do you have? What color is it? How long is it? Okay, let me know all about your hair down in the comments. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.